Okay, uh, let's change the light to a bit more. There we go. Okay, for today, we are gonna be, uh, yeah, I haven't been uploading. Sorry about that. Uh, for today, we will be reviewing uh, the BPF toy. BF BPF Overlord, which is an oversized version of the Siege War for Cybertron Megatron. First, we're gonna take a look at the packaging. So, um, actually, this knockoff line doesn't feature that big of a packaging like a uh, Weijang or Black Mamba. I'd say the, the the size of this packaging is just right for the figure. So, like <coughs> all toy products, features a large window to showcase the product at the front. Um, an artwork there. I don't know where they got the artwork from. Uh, is it commissioned or something they stole from the internet? I'm not sure. Uh, same artwork at the back. This is not the artwork that's used in Siege War for Cybertron. Uh, product shots at the back. Uh, same, I think this is the same figure, same product shots that's used in Hasbro's products. Uh, same artwork at the sides. At top is just BPF Overlord. And Chinese warnings on the bottom so that's it for the packaging let's take him out of it so here he is out of his packaging mm. well right off the bat this figure is very back heavy uh, when I first got him out of the box and stood him up stood him up this will happen see come on uh, the only thing that's not Letting him fall more to his backside it's because his sword is preventing him from falling. But if we remove this sword and shake him again, he will do the limbo rock. Uh, I don't know if this is because... I don't know if this is just my copy. I'm, uh, I'm hoping that this it is. Because... Uh, Holding the figure right now, it's a it's a really solid figure. Uh, uh, a bit stout, short, uh, in proportion, in my opinion. But it, it looks really good. Feels really good to the hand. It comes with two accessories: uh, this sword and uh, his cannon. Uh, for articulation, uh, he's particularly the same as Siege Cybertron, uh, Siege War for Cybertron, Megatron's articulation. His head is on a ball joint. Uh, he has limited movement because of his transformation. Uh, so he can move up, down, some side to side movement. Uh, his shoulders, he can move. He has no uh, no shoulder articulation. His arms can go all the way around. Same with the other one. Has elbow joints. Uh, and his elbow joint has the swivel. So it acts also as the bicep swivel. Has no wrist articulation. He can, He has waist articulation, uh, hips. His legs can go up like up to here. You see that up to here and up. his knee bends that far. And he, I think his feet. No, his feet is just plastic. He has those. Yeah. It's particularly tight here. I don't know why. Oh no! If if you could see that, there's some bending there. So be careful with that. 
So you just push it and it has some ankle rockers. Uh, it's particularly back heavy because I think this part is metal or has some metal parts in it. Mm -hmm. Alright. So that's for articulation. Let's uh let's uh, put his weapon here. Right, let's put it here. <laughs> to, all right. Um you'd probably notice already that this uh version of the Siege War for Cybertron Megatron does not have any uh paint scuffings like the actual Hasbro product. Uh, that's the uh, one of the most um, glaring difference between them. Uh, to show you more, let's stand him side to side with the actual Megatron. Uh, I think this is stuck something because this the, this is the Hasbro. Megatron. Let me see if I can put it up. Ah, oh, there we go. There, that's much better. Eh. So this is the Hasbro version, and this is the BPF version. Um, as you can see, it's like uh, Megatron took a shit, and it's splattered across him, all across him, silver shit, all across his body. This one is pretty clean, so clean that it doesn't have his Decepticon logo. <coughs> hmm. What else major differences? Oh, they have... Oh, I, I just mistransformed it. <laughs> Sorry. There. So, there's not, there's not much difference. And in color matching, they're pretty color matched, actually. Maybe uh, this version is a bit more darker. You can't see it because my light is playing havoc on. Yeah, wait. Maybe we should lessen the light. There, is that better? I don't know, the glare from the poster at the back is still bad. I know. So, looking at them. It, it's a pretty good looking product. Uh, kudos to Hasbro's engineering. So, if you want a bigger version of this, you could always get this one. Mm, all right. Let's get him to his alt mode. And here he is in his tank mode. I know, I don't remember if I. Yeah. Why is it a bit. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit. Crooked. He starts a bit crooked. <sighs> this uh, he looks like um, sideways. Mm. He, the back, which doesn't look that nice. The other side, top. Like that. The turret is articulated, so you can move. Uh, can it move? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't move up and down. Just move sideways. Mm, and that's his tank mode. Cybertronian tank mode. And here, <coughs> for comparison, here he is with the BPF commander, the oversized. And yeah, now it's dusty. I had this figure for quite a while. Uh, the BPF Commander, which is the oversized version of War for Cybertron's Optimus Prime in his Cybertronian truck mode. Yeah, actually, yeah, his truck mode can does have a weird Cybertronian gimmick, which you can do by putting all his wheels like that to to the. And now he's in a hover truck mode. He's a hover truck. A... Now, this tank doesn't have that feature. It, it has wheels though. Do, 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 do. And you can see Megatron peeking. 
there and no, I'm, I'm thinking of evil thoughts blah 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 hmm so that's it I did not transform the <laughs> As bro, uh, I'm too sick and tired to do that. But here he is again. So that's my review of the BPF Overlord, the oversized version of Hasbro's War for Cybertron, Siege, Siege War for Cybertron's Megatron. Hmm. It's a nice figure. My final thoughts on this is it uh, is that it's a nice oversized version of the Hasbro version. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, quite my copy is loose in a couple places, but that can be easily remedied. Uh, there's a lot of things you could do to tighten up joints. Um. It's, I still don't like the tank mode. It's a bit too long in the back. And I hope, uh, I wish there were a, a tab here to, so that it's a bit more secure. But overall, it's a nice figure. It's a good solid figure, a good solid Megatron figure. A bit on the stout side, short, uh, meaning it's short and stocky uh, I prefer my robots a bit leaner and taller but that's just a preference so if it still looks like Megatron it still transforms like a tank Megatron so I guess that is Megatron um, do I recommend getting this of course if your money your choice if you want to buy something like this go ahead Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For the Philippines, this is already available in your favorite Divisoria shops and Green Hill shops and also your favorite online sellers. Uh, this review is a week late, so I'm not sure if supplies are still available. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like the video, share it if you feel like sharing it subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell so that you know when i'll upload something again thank you guys